On the bait front today, we're going to be fishing the hybrid feeder. Now, the first question I have to ask myself is ground bait or pellets? Unless I've got prior information that says to me ground bait's the best, then pellets are always a safe option, particularly this time of year. Water's still cold, it's clear. I just don't feel like carp in particular are going to be responding to ground bait. So pellet wise, I've got a mixture of two pellets. I've got Ringer's Method Micros and Dynamite F1 Sweet. The reason I use two pellets is just to make mine a little bit different to everyone else. If I'm not having many casts, I want my bait to stand out, be nice and visual and lots of attraction. So Ringer's Method Micros, the way I prepare them, this is something I get asked an awful lot on social media. You don't need loads of pellets for fishing for cold water carping as I call it. So I have a pint tub, so a pint of Ringer's Method Micros, drop them down there, literally a third of a pint of the F1 Suite, they're yellow, so a little bit, little bit of colour, I do believe when the water's clear, colour's really important, just give them a mix around so the two are sort of blended together, and then soaking wise, I've got my own way of doing it. And what I say is this works perfectly for these pellets. If you're using different pellets, you might have to tweak it a little bit to get it to work for you. But soaking wise, cover the pellets. Obviously I've got the Guru strainer in there. Cover the pellets in cold water. And I'll just start my watch. And we're gonna give that 90 seconds. 90 seconds for me is about perfect as in, they're not gonna be too wet. If they're too wet, it's very difficult to bring pellets back. Whereas if they're too dry, I'll have a little tub of water on my side tray and I'll just keep flicking a little bit of water in during the day just to keep them at the consistency I want. I will say here, it's impossible for your pellets to stay perfect all day. So that little tub of water on my tray is really, really important. So they've been in 30 seconds. While we're doing that, I'm going to just talk about the next step. Again, it's all about boosting your pellets in terms of attraction. And I'm a big fan of the Boilie Crush. Colour wise, totally up to you. Uh, but all I'm going to do, three heaped catfalls of the Boilie Crush. Like I said, get it orange, yellow, pink. I just think it's really visual. So three heaped catfalls in there. These have been in, what, a minute 14 now. Just going to give them a little stir while we wait for that last 15 seconds and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that crush. Uh, it's important to keep mixing them a little bit just so the ones at the bottom don't get crushed. So moving up to, what, minute 28, 29, minute 30. So Take the strainer out, just allow the pellets to drain. Just see the water, just give them a shake so that water that's trapped gets uh, released. What I don't want to do then is just leave them in the strainer on there, because again, the ones at the bottom get crushed. So I'm just going to take my EVA tub, tip them out into there, give them a shake, give them a mix round, and I'll leave them for probably like 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, give them another stir round, and after 30 minutes, they'll be perfect and you're ready to go. So crush wise, in Blue Peter fashion, I've got some pellets that I prepared earlier because obviously they're going to take half an hour and I want to show you exactly what I'm doing right now and get fishing as soon as possible. So they've been prepared, you can see, nice and spongy, mix of the two pellets, but I can give them another boost. I can give them a little bit more flavor. And the way I'm going to do that, we've got the crush in the bait tub. Then we've got the sweet energy liquid. There's two things I like about this. One, it's sweet. I believe when the water's cold, the carp have got a really sweet tooth. So sweet, more attraction, more appeal to the carp. So I'm just going to add, I'm basically going to mix this crush to like a ground bait consistency. So the crush is a really good carrier for the flavour. You know I mean, the crush has got a little bit of flavour itself, but not a lot. Whereas once I add the flavour to it, I'm enhancing my pellets in terms of visibility with the orange, but also a real big flavour boost, which when I'm not having many casts and trying to build a swim, I believe gets me more bites. So consistency wise, look, I've just mixed it, probably put a little tiny bit more in than that. I'm trying to get it like ground bait basically, uh, so it's not dry. I don't want to turn it into a slop so it's going to ruin my pellets, but just get it into like a ground bait consistency. So when you squeeze it like that, it just stays in the ball. So three catfalls. So you're pinting a bit of pellets, tipping it in with my the pellets I prepared earlier, and then just mix it round. Just give it a good mix. It actually helps the pellets bind as well. So if you're having trouble getting your pellets to stick round a feeder, adding a little bit of crush just gives them a bit more binding power as well. Just make sure it's all mixed in thoroughly. So by adding that crush, 
I've just given the pellets a lot more attraction, both visibility-wise with the orange flakes and also flavour-wise with the sweet energy liquid. So you can just see there, plenty of fish pulling power. So there you go, the pellets are done. Nice and simple, but everything's done for a reason. And that reason is to get that extra few bites, which can make all the difference. <laughs>